welcome back to the range and I am still your host range boss Marvin Goss hey today we're gonna cover some safety topics today today we're gonna bring in our good old buddy dung beetle and he's gonna help demonstrate for us how to properly use a tourniquet he doesn't know yet so we'll keep that between us and uh, we'll bring him on in. So, uh, so bring on Dung Beetle. Bring him on in here. Yay! How you doing, Dung Beetle? Great to see you again. Glad to see that you uh, survived the little episode with the booby trap. Uh, glad to have you back on the show. So today we're uh, discussing some safety tips with tourniquets and how to properly uh, uh, use tourniquets. So, uh, I was hoping you would be able to demonstrate that for us. Proper tourniquet application, yes. Uh, tell you what, you will hold my gun so that I can better display. Bang, I got shot. Oh no, in the leg, whatever. I take it out. <sighs> I'm I a little bit of a visual learner. I learn better, you know, hands on and seeing, seeing it, uh, for actually what it does. So, uh, I was hoping you could demonstrate, you know, in a, like more of a real scenario. Uh, I'll help. Come on, come on. Well, I've been shot. Mainly, I guess, because Marvin Goss really wanted me to pull out my tourniquet. Thanks, Marvin. But what Marvin didn't know is two is one, and one is none. Ugh, because I had a backup. And if you notice, I'm going as high on my leg as I can, and I'm pulling the loop back toward myself, tight as I can. Watch the boys. And then we're just gonna do however many turns it takes. Two, three, one for demonstration. Just cut the blood flow off to make the bleeding stop. Put that down, you'll write your time. Two hands is, is, is fairly easy to do. So what we're wanting to do is we want to demonstrate one hand, right? Because, I mean, that happens too. It's good to know how to do a tourniquet one-handed. So we're going to get Dung Beetle to, to demonstrate a one-handed tourniquet application. Marvin, how many times have I said you don't shoot the dung beetle? <laughs> Gonna make me do it. So what I want to do, make sure the red tip is facing me. Hell no, I'm And wrap around. And I stop right before the windless buckle. And then I turn one or two or three or however many it takes to get the blood to stop. And then I wrap this around just to get this out of the way. And then I my time. Great job, Dung Beetle. Hey, you're going to be all right. Uh, and just hang out for a second. We're going to go over chest seals real quick. So so we've gone over tourniquets. Well, what happens if you get shot in the in the torso area? If you get shot in this area, a tourniquet doesn't work. So that's where chest seals come in. Where did Dung Beetle go? <laughs> well, i tell you what. Next time we'll go over chest seals and we'll have dung beetle back so we uh we can't wait to see you back on the range with range boss marvin goss oh, I'm out. I'm out.